Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him, though. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mines. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery, gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Then windbags are playing for keeps. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Alrighty, before. I continue on. I just want to try and say welcome to a new series. Fallout 3 is done for because, well, my whole game fucked up, to put it mildly. So, welcome to Bastion. This game is a hell of a lot of fun. And I'll try and do a live commentary where applicable. But this game's narrated, so yeah. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid 
Pete's spy is a good perch for some target practice. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. Alright, let's continue on. Ah! Fuck you, cannibal. Ah, there's a smart one you now, you fuckwad. Right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Well, good. Why is that? One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. I. Uh. We need that. Health is tasty. You know, it's useful. The arsenal is where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Now, I have to go for the fan repeater. The bow is not nice and. Mm, nah, let's keep whirlwind. I haven't showed you that yet. I'll change and show you out the weapons as they come up. Fuck. Come out. Let's continue on for now. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. And. Wait for it. Howdy. That's a well one whirlwind well one. Bad time to run out of black tonic. Not really. There's three of them around, so get everything back. Smart by me. The only trouble is with this fang repeater is you tend to go through a lot of ammo. By like, I know the ammo is infinite, but I meant to say the clip size doesn't really want to go on. That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them though. I'd say no, considering I just obliterated her. Ooh, fairy ride. An old fairy barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. It's also useful for taking out these painful last Right things. back at ya. Take that. Alright, where were we? Kid takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbag. What are you? Ah, Kid scumbag. maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Damn it. 
scumbag of his last meal. And then he falls to his death. Well, that's just unfair. Can you please stop destroying the ground the beneath me? Out of his misery. Fucking thing. Yeah, we're well, stupid to leave all these shiny things behind. And I'm not exactly sure what they are. If they're XP or just something. I think they're money from memory. No, <laughs> da da. Uh, steady. Don't want to fall over now. He finds the core to the wharf district. I'll take that. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. And now we run. The kid has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. I'm straight. I need to get a move on. This thing's shooting at me. You see that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Ah. He just keeps running. Busting out some of the ninja moves. Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee ain't got shit on me. Da, 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 da. Running for my life. Skyways in sight. And see you fucks later. It needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. Well, you look nice. Alrighty, let's just leave it there for now. And that will be part one. Alrighty, see you guys later. Welcome back. We talk for a spell. And I try to let the kid down that. gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Well, that's there's a bit good. of the bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. Could come in use. All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there, then watch. Do we need a seat to watch? And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Sorry. Now the bastion can send them even farther into the wild unknown. Yeah. Let's come over and see what we can build. Kid ponders what to build. Let's see. Let's let's do an arsenal first. Arsenals are handy. The bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Mirror shield, eh? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to show you that one as well. But for the time being, just pinch that. A repeater goes with a hammer better than a box of nails. The kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. Wee! Oh, I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's go and get us something else. Not exactly sure how he flies. Just happens. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. <laughs> oh! Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? Hmm. I have a feeling I might need that later. Any, many, money. Let's see what happens if we go this Up way. north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Well, a lot of cannons and evil things and following me. It is, but it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Wow! I I have to say that was a com <laughs> that was a complete guess. The blustery old like, foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's sure. showboating. Crowd. And cover. And now there's a new marshal in town. 
That was easy. He has the whole place grown. Sorry about that, guys. Might as well check the other side of the streets before leaving this hole. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Now to leave or check, leave or check, leave or check. Yeah, you never know what he you can find. He has for the biggest dump in town, scumbag alley. Some scumbag <sighs> still feeding off the city's own trash. Fuck sake. There he is, the oldest scumbag of them all, Gershel. Why did I listen to myself and decide to come down here? Those little blueberry things fucking hurt. You're like a slug that nobody wants. like when he was a young fella. Get my drink on. Alrighty, what's over here? Nothing. Excellent. Alrighty. So dilly dally down there. I don't know that. for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Kid nope. ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. Ah, Dutcha. Hopes he'll never see one again. God, those things sound so disgusting when they pop. Yep, come at me. Come on. Alrighty. That's almost oh, run away from that. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. Yeah, can they? Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. What the hell is this? Scumbag can digest just about anything. Ooh. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Ah, almost fell off. Light enough to throw. Damn, I missed. Okay, guess he's invincible. Better run away then. Them squirts he's just don't know when to quit. Oh, fucker. Ah, this place is starting to fall apart. Oh, fine. Time for he one more the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. They ain't pleased. No coal or alloy left to pay him for their efforts. Aye? Man, I'm not really in the mood for dealing with pissed off workers. Keeps telling himself he better watch his step. I'll just dive off the edge. Silly world. Aye. Let's vacate there. Build a forge. Build the forge. He comes Sorry. back, just like I knew he would. The Duh. core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Damn straight. I want to be the mayor of this floating town. We'll get the forge next time. Need to go and have a visit over here. You see, squirt lure, not so good. Let's just date that. Let's date that. Because I'm not really sure what the mirror shield actually does. I never used it. Probably a reason for that. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Hmm. Spade while defending, critical hit chance. Only eight of when below 33% health. Um, that might come in helpful. Let's get that. We seem to. It's not because we'll get killed. Zesty. It'll let you carry on through the worst of times. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Hmm. Sundown path, the melting pot. That one sounds nicer. And face plan. 
couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. Nothing. Okay. But then... What happened? Somebody gets to the core before the kid. Ah, crap. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. 